What's going on, you two? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Now, check this out. Yo, I kind of got like, mm, I was watching this um, this YouTuber that I've been following for quite some time. You know, he started his own brand not too long ago. I think maybe like a, like a year to like a year and a half ago. And um, towards the back end of one of his videos, he started just like venting about his brand and shit. And um, it kind of caught me off guard some Because I'm like, man, like, dude, I thought you was I thought you was doing all right, man I thought you was I thought you was all into your shit But Hey I'm going to take this opportunity I'm going to dissect the part of his video Where he starts venting And I'm going to let And we, we I'm going to discuss on the back end You know, how I feel about what he said in the video because I done already been through this shit. Alright, so I'm just here to drop some jewels and drop some gems on y'all. Alright. It's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. Alright. Building the brand is not easy. Alright. We're gonna we gonna get into that though. Right after my intro. y'all um i'm on my way to new york city so i'm gonna put this um i'm gonna play his clip first uh his name is his channel was um oh me in the hellcat very 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 you know entertaining you know he going through some shit right now though but he's entertaining dude got um got over seven hundred thousand subscribers you know what i'm saying doing his thing but um he started he started this brand man and it's like I could sense that he's getting kind of like frustrated with it. So I'm gonna play this clip and then we're gonna dissect this, alright, on the back end. So check it out. Like my like my problem is that everything that I do, I'm like fucking one of the best at it. Regardless of what I do. I can fucking sell DVDs. I'm just the best at it. And right now, it's like I'm going through a little something because when you're like when you're dealing with the clothes with the clothing industry, shit ain't on your accord. You have to order it, wait for them to go through the process, and and then make your shit, then send you samples, and then send you your clothes. Like it shit takes too long. Like I wish that I didn't have none of this fucking FBI shit, and I'll just jump on a fucking plane. And go get it yourself. Nigga, I'll go. I'll be in China right now. Like, literally, for six months straight. Like, just work, going to every company, working right there, side by side, making sure all my shit gets out. That shit's impossible. It's, it's impossible for a person. It just sucks, man. It's like, this is, no joking, like, this is probably the hardest time of my life. Because I hate not being able to get my hands dirty. I, I know what I want to do, but I just can't do it, and I don't have. Right, you, you can't just go, passport. right. You can't just go. Right now we're doing a pop-up. I'm closing down ReloadedMerch.com starting Friday. I want all new clothes. I'm going to keep a couple of the tech suits that I got, but everything else I'm going to donate in all the other clothes. I'm donating everything. I want everything to fuck out. Hmm. I don't want to make clothes anymore. I just want to, I just want to, you know, see this shit turn around. You know, even for me. Like, stop making fucking clothes. You know how to run a business. You know what I'm saying? I, we went too deep into learning how to make the clothes, making the hats, doing this, doing like fuck all that. It's like open up a clothing company where we just put out great clothing, high quality clothing instead of making it ourselves. People, people ain't appreciating it, bro. Like you don't understand how many fuck I made thousands of hats by myself. Motherfuckers that are wearing those reloaded hats, like I made them with my own fucking hands. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that shit no more, cause people don't appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, it's just... I'm, I'm going to just sell them an even better looking hat. But a Chinese motherfucker made it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for this shit. So, that's why I'm, I'm on the phone. Hustle, man. It's hustle. All right, facts. Listen. I don't even sleep no more, bro. I just be up all night. 
Just don't stop. All these manufacturers trying to get this shit right. Just don't stop, bro. Nah. I got to close it down, though. I want to close down the website because I, I want to get this shit done right. Right. Um, uh, that's all I'm saying. Listen, as long as you're you doing, you making it making it right, whatever you got to do to make it right, make it right. Just don't stop. You feel me? Just don't stop. You no, know, it's just, just going to take me about eight weeks to start getting things in. While the clothes is drawn out, don't give up on your fucking dreams. Stop letting people live, like put their fears onto you. You don't know how I many people people tell me to stop doing this, stop doing that. You ain't never going to do this. You ain't never going to suffer better than him. Man, if I'm going to dedicate all my time into something, I'm going to kill everybody in front of me. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't give a fuck who thinks they better than me. I don't give a fuck who's better than me now. I'm going to I'm gonna crush everyone in the clothing industry right. to the point where fucking Reloaded slash the only brand is going to fly and it's going to become hot. That, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm hiring the best designers in the fucking game putting another million dollars behind this shit all over again to get this shit done right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pay out, bro. Oh, 100%. Yes. Yo, I got a pop-up shop coming in the next few weeks. No, it ain't going to be a few weeks. It's going to be eight to ten weeks. But we're going to get this shit done right now. All, all right. right. Peace out of here. It's Mommy and the Hellcat, and I'm out of here. All right, yo. Now, I'm, I'm not even going to spend, like, wild time on this, but what it's sounding like is, he, is, is he's frustrated. He's frustrated because things aren't going how he thought they was gonna go. I know he's he kind of like contradicts himself as well. Now in the beginning, you know, he's talking about you know what I'm saying how he's used to being the best at this 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 and that, and it's kind of throwing him off that he's not able to run his clothing uh, brand the way he really wants to because working off the manufacturer's timeline. And he basically doesn't have full control of everything that's going on with his brain. Now, I spoke on this before. I told y'all how long samples take to get made. I told y'all, you know, uh, in the past, dealing with manufacturers, sometimes, you know, you're going to get upset. You're going to get everything ain't going to be perfect. And it, it, it seems like that's where he's at right now. All right, he's upset, you know, with his timelines. Uh, he's upset. I feel like he's upset with the way some of his uh, product is, is coming out. If you listen to him, he's at the point now where he wants to shut down his whole website and start all over. All right. You, as as you heard, you know, uh, uh, he doesn't have the time no more. He don't want to be making clothes no more. Uh, he wants to just be behind the scenes. He wants to he he, he wants to create uh, a, a business where you know. Uh, got the Chinese people just uh, manufacturing his clothes and he's just the head of the business. Bruh, you already doing that right now. You are the head of the business. They are making the clothes. You just impatient. You don't want to wait. You know, this is this yo, this is not this is this is not a, a, a jump from high school and go straight to the league type situation, man. Like building the brand takes some time. And like, and like I said in the past, like people have to actually like believe in the brand. Like, yeah, if you do have the reloaded brand, so keep pushing it. See, his issue is he's so used to the success from his other businesses. And I don't know if any of you guys follow him, but follow him. I'm not gonna get into his whole backstory because I don't know him personally like that. So, I mean, I just I just know what I see. So, if you want to know his whole backstory, follow his channel. But I feel like, you know, he's just in a place right now where, you know, he was things would be going, you know, a little bit faster than, you know, what they had been going. And it kind of feels like, to a certain extent, that he feels like giving up. But then he says on the back end, he's trying to preach for us not to give up on our dreams. But, bro, you're making it sound like you're about to give up on your dreams. You know what I'm saying? He went out, he bought all this expensive equipment, all these embroidery machines and stuff like that. You know, he started uh, making his clothes. As you heard him say, he's making thousands upon thousands of hats. And he feels like, you know, nobody's appreciating what he does. Now, I said this in the past. Everything ain't going to be a hit. <laughs> okay? Everything ain't going to be a hit. You just got to pick up and move on. You know what I'm saying? Go to the next design. I don't just, you know, don't just give up. Like, why? In my mind, like, why would you throw away your whole website just to, like, 
start over again and put this and put more of the same shit back up. Shit that's on shit that's gonna be on the website that just says reloaded on it. You know what I'm saying? Like uh I've touched like I was, I'm just gonna keep saying the same thing because I've been doing this, I've been doing this for a minute. So I know exactly what he's going through, but it, I never gave up. I never thought about quitting. I never thought about uh shutting down my website. You know, yo, I don't even take unless it's sold out or 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 I sold out or some of this, I don't take nothing off my website, bro. I don't take nothing down. Because at the end of the day, even if it is sold out or, or, or what have you, I want people to see things that I made in the past to see, you know, my progression. All right, so I just want you all to see that. And I'm going, and I, I'm saying all this, I'm saying all that to say this, man. Like, it ain't easy, baby. It's not easy. This is not for everyone. It's just like the restaurant business, baby. Hey, as fast as they come, as fast as the motherfuckers can be shut down too. So you gotta be on your constant grind, and people have to actually like believe in you, and you gotta believe in yourself. All right, so that's it for this one, you know. But hey, shout out to Omi and the Hellcat, baby. I hope he figures everything out and levels back up. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification so y'all never miss none of my videos, all right? Because we out here, baby. We still building these brands, all right? But leave it in the comments, though. I want to know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all, how y'all feel about what he said um, in the clip I stole from him. <laughs> and um, let me know if you guys been going through uh, any of the same situations that he's going through right now, all right? Let's talk about it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.